क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ फ्रॉम रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डेटा द स्पीड इन किलोमीटर पर आवर ऑफ नाइंटी कार्स एज दे पास अ सर्टन मार्कर ऑन अ रोड वर्क रिकॉर्डेड कुरेक्ट टू द नियरेस्ट किलोमीटर पर आवर द रिजल्ट आर समराइज इन द फॉलोइंग टेबल फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल इन ग्रुप फॉर्म इज गिवन दिस टेबल इज फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल इन ग्रुप फॉर्म दीज आर द स्पीड नंबर ऑफ कार्स द कार्स हैविंग स्पीड टेन टू ट्वेंटी नाइन किलोमीटर पर आर आर टेन द कार्स हैविंग स्पीड 30 टू 39 नाइन किलोमीटर पर आर आर ट्वेंटी फोर एंड सो ऑन दिस टेबल इज अ फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल इन ग्रुप फॉर्म ऑन द ग्रेड ड्रा आ हिस्टोग्राम टू अलस्टेट द डेटा इन द टेबल दिस इज द ग्रेड Grid is given. We have to draw a histogram. First of all, the data is uh, given in discontinuous form. For example, this interval is 10 to 29. Next interval is 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 52 to 59, 59 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 100, 100 to 110, 110 to 120, 120 to 130, 130 to 150, 150 to 160. So, first of all, we will take class boundaries. of each interval these are the intervals we will take the boundaries against each interval to remove the gap of the bars of the histogram first interval is 10 to 29 lower class limit is 10 upper class limit of the of this interval is 29 so to find the lower class boundary we will subtract 0.5 from 10 and uh, to find the upper class boundary we will add 0.5 in 29.29 uh, so this will become boundaries of the first interval will be 9.5 to 29.5 for the next interval next interval is 30 to 39 we subtract 0.5 from 30 and we add 0.5 in 39 to so boundaries are 29.5 to 39.5 in the same way we will find all uh, class boundaries for all intervals these are the class boundaries we find class boundaries so we may remove the gap between the bars of the histogram no we are observing that uh, all the intervals are of not equal width for example first interval is uh, uh, having class width 20 next interval class uh, width is 10 next interval class limit uh, when uh, class width is 10 in the same way 50 to 59 class width is 10 next is class width is uh, 30 so so we will find frequency density against each interval because and because uh, the intervals are of not equal widths so to draw histogram we will find frequency density frequency density this is formula to find frequency density frequency density is equal to frequency over class width for the first interval frequency is 10 class width is uh, class width is uh, 20 so 10 over 20 that is 0.5 in the same way 24 over uh, 10 
फ्रीक्वेंसी और क्लास पेट नेक्स्ट इंटरवल 30 ओवर 10 इन द सेम वे वी विल फाइंड ऑल द क्लास बाउंड्रीज अगेंस्ट ईच इंटरवल वी आर वी विल टेक फ्रीक्वेंसी डेंसिटी अलोंग वाई एक्सिस फ्रीक्वेंसी डेंसिटी अलोंग वाई एक्सिस and the intervals along x axis choosing a suitable scale according to the data we are taking along x axis the intervals 0 20 40 60 80 along the y axis 0.2 0.4 Five small boxes representing 0.2. This reading will be 0.4, 0.6, and so on, up to three. Because the maximum value of the frequency density is three. So, so we are drawing here the histogram. First interval boundary is 9.5 to 29.5. Frequency density is 0.5. This is 0.5. This is 9.5. This is 29.5. So, so we draw a triangle. Uh, we draw a rectangle or bar. Next interval is. 29.5 to 39.5 and the frequency density is 2.4 this is 2.4 this is 29.5 this is 39.5 so this will be the rectangle in the same way for the next interval 39.5 to 49.5 and frequency density is 3 so so we are drawing a rectangle frequency with frequency density 3 in the same way for the next interval this is a rectangle for the last interval this is a rectangle so this is a histogram drawn in the given grid next part of this question is calculate an estimate for the mean speed of the 90 cars as they pass the marker we have to find the mean speed of 90 cars calculate and estimate these are two different words calculate and estimate so so the formula for mean is x bar shows the mean value of the variable x bar will be summation fx over summation f summation f shows the sum of frequency that is 90 90 cars now we will find f into x sum of f into x so so first we will find the mid values of against each interval first interval is 10 to 29 we will find the mid value because we have to find x what is x x is any suitable value between 10 and 29 the suitable value will be the mid value so so uh, to find the mean we need x x will be the mid value against each interval first interval is 10 to 29 the mid value of 10 to 29 will be we add 
29 divided by 2 we get 19.5 for the next interval the mid value will be 30 plus 39 divided by 2 we get 34.5 for the next interval 40 plus 49 divided by 2 the mid value is 44.5 and so on now we are using these values in place of x in this formula putting the values mean x bar shows mean x bar shows mean value of x summation f into x summation f into x frequency into x frequency is 10 mid value is 19.5 to 19.5 into 10 for the first interval 19.5 into 10 for the next interval 34.5 into 24 plus into 14 last is 74.5 into 12 divided by these are summation of fx summation fx divided by summation f that is 90 because total cars are 90 summation f is 90 now we are calculating these by using calculator we get x bar 195 we calculated 19.5 into 10 that is 195 for the next option, uh, 34.5 into 24, that is 828. Next is 1335. Next is 763. Next is 894 divided by 90. So, finally we get x bar is equal to we are adding these values we get 4015 divided by 9 finally we get mean value of x that is 44.6 this is the answer mean value of the speed so, so unit of speed is kilometer per hour so, so we can write kilometers per hour 44.6 kilometers per hour is the answer